Hey everybody, welcome back to another Monday Plan with me. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. So this week I'm using a kit from Toffee Bananas. I will leave her shop link in the description box. This kit was called Snap and it was just a really pretty pink kit. So as the kit doesn't come with any date covers, I decided to pull these ones out from Handcrafted by Cherie. These are the most prettiest foils that I have ever seen. There's no indentations in them, there's no cracks or scratches. It's like literally perfect foil. And I will also leave her link in the description box as well. I'm just going to start by using the washi along the top this week. And then I decided just to move the date covers down a little bit so they're kind of like a paint swatch over the purple line that's already there just to do something different this week. And the pastel pink of the date covers matched the kit perfectly. So if you're looking for some date covers or some foiled stickers I would highly recommend Cherie's shop. So definitely go and check it out. She's got lots of different stickers on there and she's just a really good shop that's based in the UK. So once I finished putting all the date dots along the top, it was time to go in day by day. So I started with a scalloped quarter box as it's my cousin's birthday so I just used one of the birthday poppets. The pen that I'm going to be using this week on my spread is from Zebra. It's a Z Grip Erasable in 0.7. Um, it's a really nice ink, it writes nice and smoothly. This pen is also erasable which is really good if you have plans that change or you make a spelling mistake or you just randomly miss out a word like I sometimes do. This is a really good pen and I'm really loving using it. I then put down a to-do header with a strip of washi that comes with the kit. There are only four strips I think there was um, of patterned washi that comes with the kit. So I used one of those with a Plan With Me Monday sticker which was from Planning Roses. And then underneath there obviously I want to edit this Plan With Me so I just used a half box with an edit script sticker from my shop and a little poppet from the social sheet. I put down my full box to block off some time and then later on today I wanted to upload this Plan With Me. And then at the bottom I just created my odds and ends so I want to do some printing and cutting tonight. I want to pack some orders tonight as well and then get everything ready to post. And me and my daughter have started watching American Horror Story. So moving on to Tuesday I used another piece of the patterned washi and a half box that I flipped up onto its side as it's the last day of term for my children or for my boys anyway, my daughter's left school now. So I just put that down on the half box and I also used a little happy poppet. I also had to remind myself that the boys are leaving early from school at 2 o'clock. So I moved on and created my to-do section, so I just used a to-do header. Used a poppet from the doctor sheet just to mark down that I wanted to call the opticians to book everybody in for their eye checkup. And I also need to pack a picnic up as well, so I just used the poppets from the friend sheet that are like holding the little tacos. Just right down to pack the picnic. And then every year, as always, we meet all the family over at the park on the last day of term. We do this every single summer, we all get together, we all have a massive picnic over at the park and we tend to just kind of talk about our camping trip that comes up in August and we just kind of write lists and start the planning process on the camping trip. If you follow me for a while then you know that every year we do this, it's just a tradition. So for Wednesday I started with a full box at the top and then created my to-do section. I just used a to-do header and then one of the long checklists. After that I put down my today header and I need to do a food shop as we were going to be busy on Tuesday. I usually do my food shops on a Tuesday um, so I'm just going to be doing that on Wednesday this week. And I also want to design some kits for my next new release or for next month's new releases sorry. And I've also got a delivery of my paper for my shop. 
So moving on to Thursday, I started with another piece of the patterned washi and a Time for Tea sticker which is from my shop. I used a half box with a film sticker from my shop and one of the social poppets and just wrote down to film the monthly plan with me. Although I haven't really got any plans yet for August so I'm not sure if I'm still going to film it looking at what the plans I have got because either it's going to be a very very quick plan with me monthly one or a very very boring one so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet or not but I have put it into my planner and then I just moved everything around because it felt a little bit too pushed up so I just moved everything down and then for my to-do section I just put one of the short checklists down which I will wait until kind of halfway through the week to fill out because I always think of things and then want to add them into my planner so I've just left that for that. I put down a quarter box with an Etsy poppet from the social sheet just to check on all of my, list my listings in my shop and then I put my full box down and I put an icon for the bins to go out and also one of the planner icons to update my bullet journal because I've been kind of neglecting that lately so I need to show it a little bit of planner love. For Friday it's my new release day so I put down a half box with a new release sticker and this was last week's new release, it was the Poppet Cats so these are available in my shop already so I thought I would just show you them now. I put down my full box just to block off some time for my to-do list which I'm just going to create using one of the shorter checklists and a to-do header. I want to just upload my shop listings for new releases, I also want to make sure I post my new release onto Instagram and I want to film next week's plan with me but I started to write edit which is a good reason that I had one of these erasable pens so I just rubbed that out and put film. It's also a payday so I use another one of the scalloped quarter boxes with a payday sticker from my shop and then I want to treat myself in the late afternoon and play some Sims 4. I've been really loving playing Sims 4 because of the seasons expansion pack. I've been really really loving it. If you play Sims 4 as well let me know down in the comments. I've also got two bills due on this day as well so I just stuck those down at the bottom which filled up that gap nicely. For Saturday I created my to-do section with a long checklist and then for my today section I just put a half box down as we're going to be taking the children out to Crazy Golf. <laughs> They've been wanting to do that for ages, it seems really random but that's what we're going to be doing on Saturday. So I just put one of the foiled family time stickers down which I believe is from the Ginger Cat Co. And then I just filled out my to-do list. And then underneath my full box I just used one of the new Poppet Cats and marked down that I want to clean my cat's food bowl. For Sunday I put the full box at the top and then for my today section I just want to edit the plan with me that I would have filmed on Friday ready to go up on Monday. I also use one of the food icons that come with the kit because I know I'm going to want to do a bit of a food top up especially when they're off of school they just tend to eat like triple the amount. And then my camera cut out and I didn't realise but you just missed me putting down the weekend banner. And then moving on to the sidebar I used my favourite full box right at the top. And this week I decided just to leave the notes section there so underneath I just put down my habit tracker and to split the two habit trackers up I just used the last piece of the patterned washi. To create my next week section I used one of the long page flags as there wasn't a header that said next week and then the checklist underneath. And then to fill up the section at the bottom I just used the last full box. So one of my habit trackers is for Instagram and the other one is for my vitamins. I've decided to try taking some vitamins. I suffer from anemia so hopefully this is going to help me which actually reminds me I haven't taken one yet today so I need to go and do that. And then underneath there like I said I'm just writing down everything for my next week. So obviously this kit doesn't come with any deco but it does come with a long line of these little asterisk uh, stickers so I thought I would just use those as deco. <laughs> this, this kit is so pretty and it just didn't have any deco and it was kind of like having a hot chocolate without whipped cream. It's just not right so I decided just to use these as deco along the bottom. Why not? And that finished the spread for this week. Here's everything that I have got left. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you are part of the early squad by hitting my subscribe button and also the little bell notification. And that way you'll be part of the early squad and be notified as soon as I upload any videos. Hope you guys all have a lovely week and I will see you next time. Bye guys.